what's going on y'all what it is so let's go ahead and slide on this topic and i'm not going to spend too much time on this topic because everybody is covering this story but i did ask you guys on my community feed would you guys be interested in me talking about what has transpired between jaguar wright and her husband and this guy from carbon nation called solar so I wanted to give you guys my thoughts and opinions, so let's just jump right into it. So off rip, I have some questions about what took place. I have to give you guys my honest opinion, and I feel like some of this could have been staged. That's how it comes across to me if I'm keeping it all the way 100 with you all. Now, I observed Goomba, Jack's husband, saying in an interview that Solar came around about two weeks ago, and basically he didn't like the dude's energy, and I understand that because he's a mutt from Carbonation. And as a man, there's no way in the world that Solar would have been in the presence of me and my wife for more than two minutes given his affiliation to that low vibrational and demonic cult. I mean Goomba did say in an interview that Solar just mysteriously popped up out of the blue and in my mind that's cap. I believe that Solar popped up because him and Jaguar were talking behind the scenes and Jaguar wanted that dude to pop up. Your Aunt Hannah should have went in a frenzy Goomba when this dude just mysteriously showed up out of the blue. And in my estimation, right, you know, I feel like everything that took place, if it's all true, it's Goomba's fault because he didn't protect his wife to the magnitude that he should have. You know, if you told your wife that you didn't want this scab around y'all, right, and she chose to still have him around, you know, the foundation of y'all marriage is rotten to the core. I mean, because you have to think about it in this regard, my man, like what purpose does Solar serve her over you and you're supposed to be her husband, right? And so, like, that is so disrespectful within itself. And it sounds like the Jaguar wanted to give him some ass. You know, you have to analyze this in its totality. This dude just came around. And I'm pretty sure before the second week y'all were hanging around each other, she had already start calling him nephew. And they're not even related. Then on top of that, you said that you expressed to your wife that y'all didn't need a third wheel to tag along with y'all. You didn't want nobody else riding around with y'all, going wherever y'all were going. And then you said the energy was bad on top of that, but you still admitted to buying his food, buying his clothes. Like, come on, man. Something is just off about that, because if anybody's energy is off, I'm not doing a damn thing for you. Now, there was a question about Jaguar actually sleeping with someone else. I don't know who this dude is. I just saw it, you know, in an interview. And Goomba said that Jaguar never gave him a straight answer in regards to if she slept with dude or not. Then there was another question about if Solar and Jag possibly slept together. Now, Goomba said that there's no chance in hell that that could have took place because they were all three around each other at all times, right? But on the day that that fight transpired, you said in an interview that you actually walked three miles to the barbershop to get away from Solar and to get away from your wife. Well, let me say this, my man. If they didn't have the opportunity to bump uglies beforehand, you sure as hell gave them the opportunity to bump uglies when you allegedly walked three miles to the barbershop to get away from Solar and Jaguar. Just saying. Now, let's talk about this theory of Solar possibly slipping something in Jaguar's drink, right? And all of a sudden she comes possessed and things of that nature and she's running around, you know, taking her son's ashes and throwing it on people at the barbershop and rubbing it on her face and things like that. But one thing in particular that I noticed is that if Jaguar was so possessed, right? If she was so demonically possessed, why does she keep the focus on turning the camera every which way she actually went to make sure that the footage was recorded. That was particularly odd to me. You know, it just baffles me that they're potentially playing on my intelligence, thinking that I should believe that Jaguar was so mentally and spiritually affected by this demonic possession, but through it all, she still had the awareness, right? And the presence of mind to hit record and to turn that camera to make sure she was filming the altercation that was going down. Yeah, y'all can play with your mama on that one, not me, because look, something just sounds off about that. And then let's talk about the fight, right? I see a lot of bloggers that interviewed Goomba, you know, kissing up to him saying, yeah, you gave it to old boy, you beat him down. Where did he beat old boy down? Last time I checked when he went live, he didn't even have a scratch, not a nick. You know what I'm saying? It seems like to me that Goomba had him in the headlock and he was holding his wrist while they were on the ground like holding him by his wrist and I heard Solar say, I love you, Gerald. I love you, Gerald. Like, what the hell is going on here? I mean, at this point, if Solar violated you and your wife to the magnitude that you said he did, like, he shouldn't have been able to come on camera after y'all had y'all little fight. 
after the altercation because he would have been visibly embarrassed to even come on camera, right? So I just don't understand it. Y'all doing a bunch of holding and touching. He's holding your wrist talking about, put it in, Jaro, put it in, Jaro. Then on top of that, when Goomba got off of old boy, it seems like he went at Jag, but he said that he didn't put paws on Jag or whatever the case may be. I guess that is what it is. Then you got Jag in the car talking about, get in the car, Sola, get in the car, get in the car. And I'm thinking to myself, well, did that demon say it in that same tone? For her to press record, press record, turn the camera. You know, it's just, it just seems off to me. I'm just keeping it all the way real, y'all. Then Goomba also said that when his wife was getting arrested, that she was speaking in Latin. And when he recorded it, it translated to English. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so, but listen, this is my overall thought process about this situation. I have my questions. I'm not going to sit here and just emphatically deny that Jaguar probably had something like a spell casted upon her. But at the end of the day, something to me just seems staged. The word that just comes to the forefront of my head is staged. You know what I'm saying? But I would say this, right? Let's just say that this is all true. If this is all true, this is a very heartbreaking situation for Jad because at the end of the day, the things that she's been exposing about Jay-Z and Diddy and things of that nature and the industry in its totality, it is not safe for her, you know, if she's being held against her will because, you know, due to her own fault, yes, indeed. But at the same time, you know, I just don't know if she makes it out. And, you know, like I said, I hope that this is all staged for the sake of her life, because at the end of the day, some of the things that she's been saying have been outlandish. I'm not saying that they're not true. At the end of the day, I do believe 90 percent of what Jag is saying. But this is not a good predicament for her to be in if she's being held against her will. Listen, for all we know, all three of them could be just chilling, sitting back, still together, hanging out, smoking and drinking, laughing at us putting all these videos out there about their situation and they know that they concocted this whole storyline just to gain attention you know what i'm saying so listen at the end of the day this is my opinion drop down and let me know what you think about this entire situation don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and until next time peace well